What's up guys, today I'm going to show you how to download almost any premium HTML websites from sites like Theme Forests. So here we go. So you're going to start off by downloading HTT Rack. Oops, spelled that wrong. Rack, there we go. Just hit that download button and then look for the Windows 7 installation. So you're going to want to download that, keep it. Okay. Oops. All right, so you're going to want to run it. And then, yeah. So I, I installed it in my G drive because uh, I have a uh, SSD in RAID 0. But, yeah, it's almost running out of space. So install it where you like and head over to themeforest.com. Uh, I mean dot net. <laughs> okay, so once you're here, um, you can pretty much download almost anything. Um, you can't down download everything because some websites require MySQL databases, and um, this program that you just installed won't actually duplicate the databases. So, yeah, if you, if it has databases, then you're gonna want to buy it or like find it from like some other website. All right, so head over to HTML, and I'm just going to click on personal. So just uh, click on random ones like, um, which one's more expensive? Uh, short buy, price high to low. Let's click on this one. All right, as you can see, I was looking for uh, the live preview button. So just click on that, and it's actually pretty nice. I like it. it has HTML5. It's a personal website. That's pretty cool. All right. So what you're gonna want to do is, if you have Chrome, just right click on the on the website, go to Inspect Element, and then you should see the source right there. So just copy that, and just make sure that it's the right website. So yeah, it's, it looks like it. Yeah, see? It doesn't have the toolbars and the site stuff, you know. And, um, okay, so once you know you have the right uh, website, head over to the program, click Next. This is where you name it. So what is it called? Black Sakura. Okay. I think I spelled that right. Okay, so then right here, you choose where you want to download it to. I just saved it to my G drive on in Documents inside another folder called My Website. So just click Next. And right here is where you're going to paste the web address. So just put that in there and then hit Next. Leave everything the same and hit Next. So right here, this is actual downloading the website part. So what it's actually doing is it's going into the Inspect Element and it's downloading every single link. So like, for example, um, here, inspect element. So this this um image right there, it's gonna download that. It's um also gonna download stuff like um just like all the images, it's gonna download all the HTML stuff, you know. Alright, so just gonna let that run for a while. I'm gonna speed this up. All right, so now it's finished, and we're just gonna exit out of that because we don't need that anymore. Um, yeah, just close that, close that, and I'm just gonna leave the Chrome open. So just go head over to where you save the file to. So. My kids, it's documents, my websites, and um, this is where the folder is located at. So, um, a neat thing that you can do is just actually just click on the index um, HTML, and uh, it's right there. You can actually click, click on that, and then see, boom. But that's not actually the H the index file that you want to edit. So head over to this folder, and then go in here HTML. And this is actual, oops, 
this is the actual um, root directory of the website. So every single little um, text, image, or whatever, it's all in here. So just head over to index. Yep, it's right there. So if you want to edit it, you just open with Dreamweaver and uh, change whatever you want. Um, add different images. Make it yours, okay? Because uh, they pretty much gave it to you for free. Yep. And uh, so, yeah. There, it's right there. If you guys don't know how to edit HTML, I don't think this is for you. Uh, you'd probably be better off just getting a WordPress website and a free theme. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.